Well, one of the new features that you find in Twinmotion 2025.2 is the parallax window, and we'll see in this video what's all this about. So, in this scene, I have already added many parallax windows, which you will be able to find inside the library. Go to the object section, and there's a new category called parallax windows with all these elements that you can add to your scene. So let's see what exactly it's a parallax. If you drag and drop any of these items to the viewport, you will notice that it is indeed a plane. You can see it here. It is not a 3D object, but a plane with a special type of texture. This special type of texture is simulating depth and will be very useful to place on, like I'm doing here, on building windows so we can simulate what's inside without all adding all this stuff to the interior or it's simply a 2D plane with a texture. But this special texture has some characteristics that will be very useful on those scenarios where we have many many windows and we'll see that the, the settings that we have over here will be very useful for this so I've already added many parallax windows to this building that I have over here and I've also selected here to filter and only see the parallax windows elements within the scene graph so I'm going to select them all so we can apply settings to all of them at the same time so we can see exactly what each of these options do so let's review this the first thing you need to, to keep in mind is that parallax windows which is a very special kind of textures allows to have two different types of of projections in this in these planes depending on if it's a day scene or a night scene the great thing about um, twin motion or real time rendering is that we can easily switch between both of them. So we will notice that when having a day texture or a night texture, there is some difference. For now, I'm going to go here to change the exposure of this setting. And as you see, what I'm doing is changing, as clearly as it shows, the exposure of the parallax texture. Both if you're wondering, okay, but what if I increase the exposure of the night of the night feature? And if I do, it also increases the exposure of the images. But if you notice, there's one difference. Let's increase this a bit, and you see how it lightens. And if I reduce this one and increase the night version, you notice that lights are on on this night version. So the day version doesn't have the lights on inside the window and this one does so that's ex exactly the difference the key thing here is that there's an option called dusk to down what this will allow us is to automatically switch between each of them depending on let's go here to the ambient settings if we are on a day hour or a night time so if I go here to night time, it should automatically switch to, let's go here, let's search for these parallax windows, it should switch to the night time scene, to the night version of this parallax. Now let's increase this one a bit, and if you notice, it doesn't change, because we are now in the night time docks to down is enabled so it will only load this night version but what about day if we go to the ambience and take it to a daytime let's increase this exposure and now you notice how it doesn't turn on the lights inside this let's go here to the parallax select them all inside the parallax textures we can change the exposure here so it's more or less noticeable, but that's very useful because we will need to have these planes on all of these windows and sometimes we'll need to take some shots 
in a nighttime is in or a daytime is in. That, so that's very useful for. But most of the times we'll use this for night scenes. So let's switch this back to maybe three in the morning. It's very dark. Let's increase a bit this exposure so we can see a bit more. And let's play a game with those parallax to see what else can we do. So we select them all. Oh, sorry here. Select them all, and we can change the exposure. But we can also from here change the thin and the temperature. It's very easy to understand as any other thing here inside Twin Motion. If we decrease the temperature, it looks warmer. If we increase it, it looks cooler. And we can also change the thin here to make it look in a certain way. This is not something that we will need to do in this case. So let's press Ctrl plus C. But there are other settings that will be very interesting to use, especially in these night scenes, because we have the nightlife simulation. And what does this exactly do? Well, you know that in real life, not all the lights are turned on in a building, not all the rooms, not all the apartments have people in there with lights on, some are off. And this is exactly what this night light simulation does. If we increase or decrease this value over here, we will switch between all, all of the windows with lights turned off to all of the windows parallax that we had with lights turned on. But if we put it here in the middle, now we have a mixed, a mix of some rooms with lights on and rooms with lights off, which will be very useful to create this most realistic uh, scene. We can also randomize the, the temperature of the, of, the, of the apartments, of the windows that we have added. We can see it over here, how some of them turn warmer or cooler and also randomize the exposure because some light will be more intense than others in some rooms. And here we have also the, the frequency of the string key that will allow us to also randomize a bit how all these lights are distributed among the effect. So this is very, very interesting. And we can also have some other options that we'll find down here, such as the size, which is very, very easy to understand, I think. Let's go here close to this. We can change the width. In this case, I'm going to only select this one over here. Let me hide for a second this to select the, the parallax window. We can change the width can change the depth look here and we can also stretch on each of the axes or offset depending on the size of the window look how it tiles so you you need to be very careful with this and we also have some layers and what does this layer mean well a parallax texture is composed by different elements that are distributed among some layers. In this case, there are four layers. The first layer, if you notice here and you have this enabled, I move the depth slider, contains the curtains. And we can change on which depth these curtains are. We can go to the second layer and now we can move the chairs. We can go here to the third one and now we can move this over here. And on the fourth one, we can move the lamp. So that way we can generate some variations or customize those products that we have by default here in this library to our own taste. Lastly, we have a glass section that will allow us to enable a, a, a glass material that will be portrayed on top. In this case, it's not so visible because we are in a night scene, but you need to keep in mind this exists. And also we have an option to cool the corner of this parallax. So what does it exactly do? But let's press the button so you can see it. If we click left, then now what we have on the left of this parallax effect that we have over here, we have some depth, we have left, right, the one in the in the back and the foreground. So the left does not exist anymore. This is in case we have other elements that we want to be visible in here. We can hide that side. We can also hide the right side or we can uh, hide both depending on what we're doing this can be very useful especially for corner windows and we can use this mirror it so we can mirror the, the image that's being shown that's in theory 
the main options that we can have here. So this is a very interesting effect and I think you can build very attractive exterior scenes using this parallax window that will allow you to make the process much faster and optimize your scene much more than if you add 3D elements to each of these uh, apartments or offices or whatever you have inside of this. It's also important to know that you can also make your own custom parallax and you can add the textures over here but this is something that we will not discuss in this video. If you want to learn more about some of the features of the Twin Motion 2025.2 version, check the next video.